Reworkies fam! Welcome to my channel! My name is Mia and this is Reworkies! I'm a UIX designer and I try to make videos that would make your life hella easier. So let's get on with this video. Today I'm gonna talk about trick of mine that I use and I'm gonna share it with you I'm gonna give you the free file I'm gonna help you out in life okay so in this video I'm gonna talk about how do I create my hand off design system and documentation when I finish off a project so while you're working on a design uh, you probably create a small design system of yours and you're probably gonna use it all over your designs but in this video I'm gonna tell you how to structure a design system file what is it going to contain how to use it to the fullest function and how to hand it over to the developer so there it would be super easy for them to use and that the picture there is so spooky keep seeing it and I get scared so yeah I'm gonna talk about that and let you know how you can use it let's go to the video let's see the file structure let's see what I do there and you probably can use it to the best hi guys so let's talk about this this is my design system structure and how I hand over this to my developers and clients so I open two different projects these are super similar because I use the same structure for all of them so I'm just gonna walk you through both of them and let you know how I mentioned it this is uh, what I use but for you guys in the description below I will leave a file with this exact components but empty for you to fill in with your own uh, components buttons everything let's dig in <laughs> here as you can see from the first page I have the welcome obviously to welcome everyone here's the cover page then as always I have the quick access the quick access is super important because you want the developers the client to find all of the pages easily without having to scroll within the pages so I copy the link to this page and I give them this page they can just click on it whatever they want to use and go there so then we have the base which would be uh, the spacing I have all of the breakpoints I have all of the sizes for Android for iOS and for the dashboard that I've designed the menu section the cards everything and here is just the corner radius this should be atoms which I will show you next so and then I have all of the different colors I have uh, the black and white I have the gray scale I have the white scale blue scale which is my primary color background signal colors and then accent colors which would be the colors that are primary and I use in my designs mainly then I have the icons which would be the icons I used in the landing page and the icons I used in the design and I actually gave them the link to the full icon pack in case they needed it and then from there we have all of the fonts here are uh, let's see here are the headlines the different headlines that I have I actually named them like this so it would be easier for them to like use and we have the body text here and then we have the shadow i only used what did i do <laughs> i only used one type of shadow here again i gave them the structure this is the medium one the blur the background blur the color the percentage x y everything i just enter write everything in case but you as you know they can just find everything in the inspect if they wanted to but i just do it so it would visually help them and then we come to the page the beautiful page of components which would be the navigation on my side i gave them a quick structure of how it would look on default hover uh, dashboard all of the different structures between the menu itself the buttons we have the primary we have the secondary we have the actually this is the and it should be the territory i think it has been mistaken but this should be the territory we have the text buttons we have the special buttons here and then moving on we have all of the different cards that i use all of the different statuses of those cards then all of the different inputs that i use for one for light dark mode one for dark mode and uh, like the country like the number input the search input everything and then we have the atoms which are all of the single small things that i use in my designs i put them here i make them component and then i create the cards of them so this is it we have archive 
obviously for if we want to archive anything we have the helper components here as well and this would be the whole structure of what I do in my design systems. I give this to them, I go on a call, I explain them page by page, I give them how they can use the quick access, how they can use the components for future designers if they weren't working with me. So I want the most pleasant offboarding for my clients. I create this beautiful design system for them. So even if they wanted to continue with other designer, if they want to continue with another team, they get to do it perfectly and they wouldn't have a problem onboarding the new designer i hope it was helpful to you i will put this file in the link in the description use it it's super helpful it's gonna make you look more professional and your clients will love you more okay guys that's it that's how i create my design system file that's how i structure it and that's how i think you should do it as well because my clients and the developers that i've been working are pretty pleased with it just make sure to give them a tour around it and let them know how they can use it properly so if you don't have me right now subscribe leave a comment give a thumbs up and follow me on my instagram i post there and i have daily stories i would love to see you there so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope i see you in the next week goodbye